You know, it's been a while. It's been a whole two days since I have done a rant. So who are we talking about today? Today, today, oh my God. Everybody go ahead and put on your equine equality shirts for this video because um, we're gonna cut a bitch down. We have this animal abusing piece of shit and her name is Stacy Soap. Yes, I am going to use your real name because you can go fuck yourself. You committed a felony and I don't feel like I need to censor myself. I'm sure that everybody by now has seen this video. If you haven't, do you even exist? Stacy is a professional barrel racer, <laughs> lightly use that term please, who can't ride for shit, has basically no knowledge of horses at all, and is just a total garbage human being. She claims to be a professional trainer and professional barrel racer. Okay. Over the weekend, she was at a barrel race and this happened. Let me just take a second before I get into what's happening in the video. All of the badass women that were there in that arena who were also barrel racers who stood up for that horse and were screaming at her. I have never seen people take such action against a fellow equestrian in person ever before in my life. So honestly, congrats to you guys. You guys are my personal heroes. You are epic. You are fucking amazing. And we need more people like you because you guys are fucking incredible for what you did. All of the women in this video who stood up for that horse really deserve a lot of credit. If you cannot tell, Stacy is shocking her horse repeatedly. It is literally illegal under the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act to shock a horse or use any type of shocking methods. Now, I don't even need to get into the logistics behind how sensitive horses are. I'm so sick of this ideology behind horses have thick skin because it's just not true. Like people made this up so that way it would be okay to physically abuse animals. I am not here to make you feel better about yourself. Horse skin is actually thinner than human skin. We know this, this is a legit fact. 
they feel more pain than we do. They have more nerve endings and more receptors than we do. So you know what, bitch? If it hurts to be jabbed in your ribs with a pair of spurs, if it hurts to be hit with a crop on your leg or on your back, then I guarantee you it hurts the horse. Now, I have never in my life seen a barrel racer use what's called a jigger. It's, a, it's an electrical shock device. That's what she's using. You know, these are used widely in rodeos, which is illegal, and they're also used widely in a lot of horse racing. Again, illegal. We all know that rodeos are trash. We all know that horse racing is trash. And we all know that using shock devices like this to any animal is illegal. It's federally illegal. Now, Stacy, for the love of God, I have no idea what you were even trying to accomplish. Horse trainer, my ass. You have no idea what you're doing. You are quite honestly, the worst barrel racer I have ever seen. Probably the worst barrel racer in the entire world, just ethically speaking. You are the biggest piece of shit. Oh. Classy. Oh God, I love this. The fact that she pets her horse at the end, the fact that this bitch had the audacity to pet her horse after shocking her horse, not one, not two, but like fucking 500 times. <laughs> Fuck you. And I know there's gonna be people saying, oh my God, Raleigh, you're so mean. First off, nothing's new. <laughs> but also, I'm sorry, I just don't have sympathy for people who commit felonies against animals on camera. If she's willing to shock her horse and abuse her horse this many times on camera in public at a public event with people screaming at her and she keeps doing it, just imagine what she does behind closed doors. She should be investigated by the ASPCA. Just the other day, actually, the US Senate unanimously passed a bill that makes all levels of animal cruelty a federal felony offense. So this qualifies. So she should seriously be charged, she should go to jail. And honestly, I would really like to see the National Barrel Horse Association take a stand against this and fucking kick her ass out. Because not all barrel racers are bad, I've said this time and time again, but it's people like this that make your whole sport look bad. So take a stand and let people know that this shit's not okay. But anyway, oh, Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching this rant. I appreciate it. And Stacy, go fuck yourself. <laughs>